Hold up, hold up, hold up. So you mean to tell me back in April of 2023 that Miss Celestial prophesied about Florida being hit with this bad hurricane? You mean to tell me back in 2023 that she prophesied about this? Man, y'all have to see this video. Make sure you like and share. Check this out. Um, and the judgments that would come to all of America. And so the first place that God started talking about was Florida. Florida will have extreme storms, hurricanes, and water disasters. Florida will suffer floods and storms and water disasters like extreme flooding and sinkholes so extreme flooding is when it rains and rains and rains and rains and rains and rains and rains until the drainages are full all the catchment areas are full the bayous are full the lakes are full the sea is full and still it's raining and there's nowhere for the rain to go and if anyone is thinking of noah at this moment you're thinking along the right lines because as god was showing me the kind of flooding that is going to come to florida literally looked to me in my sleep like noah flooding because god says that he is going to rain on florida until the rain from above is too much and until it sinks into the ground and the water table this means the place that water sinks and filters down into groundwater, reservoir water, the kind of water you can only reach with a borehole or a well, that is going to fill right up. And I hope that I can do justice to explaining what I saw. So Florida will have flooding and sinkholes. A sinkhole is where it the, it has rained a lot, but also perhaps structural changes in the ground. These things can't really be um, excellently explained, or maybe it's just me that doesn't know about them in depth. Sinkholes occur when the ground literally, literally, as it did in the days of Moses, just opens up and swallows whatever is on top of it. A sinkhole can open and swallow an entire house. It can open in your driveway, even though there's cement. The ground underneath will weaken and fall away, and then everything else that is resting on the ground, like the cement coating, will crack and fall away, and you get a massive hole. And they have videos like this on YouTube, and the worst one I've ever seen in my life is a person, a mailman, either a mailman or an Amazon delivery man, was coming up to a door to deliver a package, and a sinkhole opened up, and that poor man went into the hole and these things can be tens of feet 60 70 or hundreds of feet deep they literally open up into the cavernous cavernous earth and it's impossible to get people out it is it is next to impossible to get whatever object falls into that hole out and so the lord says that this flooding and these sinkholes are going to be caused by extreme weakness of the ground after it is exposed to hundreds of of hours this means weeks basically of unrelenting rainfall and this will be the judgment of the lord florida is going to be battered by storms the likes of which we have never seen before category five storms and higher because the time of judgments have come to the nations and chief of them america herself hear the word of the lord and so i was talking about the kind of fl flooding that i saw in florida and it was it was like florida was like this right like a piece of land a thick piece of land like this and the rain came down so the rain was unrelenting the rain that i was seeing it was just falling and falling and falling and falling and falling and like i said after a while rain has nowhere to go it runs off into lakes rivers streams the bayous the swamps all the everglades it goes everywhere that it can and it's running over a developed nation so it's running over these streets and it's going into the drainages and eventually the drainages are full and everywhere that man lives is full and the sea is full but what i saw happening from the ground is that the ground was also getting water so whatever the reserves are the reservoirs under the earth were also filling up and filling up and then the brown earth under there was beginning to look like it had pockets of blue 
So wherever the water table is supposed to go, it didn't stay there. It now began to rise up as if coming to the surface of the land. And this is exactly what happened in the days of Noah. The sea has funnels under it and they were open. So they began to act like jacuzzi jets and the windows of heaven were open. So this means a torrent of rainfall was coming down, not the normal pitter patter or even strong um, Amazon jungle kind of rainfall. It was water sheeting from above and water gushing from below. And that is how God managed to fill up the bathtub of this earth and take sinful man away. And that is what I saw happening in Florida. The ground was filled with water and it came all the way up and assisted the surface flooding that was happening. And then I began to see people walking in distress terrible loss of property everything that you have in the house completely destroyed because of the type of flooding and god says florida is going to get hit battered is the word he used by storms that are category five and higher now as far as i know we don't have anything higher than category five but when nature gets involved then God is the one who will set the remaining numbers, six, nine, 15, things that we have not marked before. And he says that this is sure, a sure judgment coming. Florida is an island unto itself, the Lord says. Florida is like a different country with its own religion and flag, and I will judge them for it. Florida will have hundreds of hours of rainfall until the ground slumps and collapses under the weight of so much water falling from heaven as well as rising under the water table. The water table will rise under many nations and they will be flooded out because of their idolatries and defilement of the land which I gave them. And I have a whole series of prophecies that I think I will have to turn into videos now that the Lord is bringing up this issue of flooding. I did an entire prophecy series back in 2019 that is called Floods. I saw floods coming to West Africa. I saw that the nation of Ghana is going to be hit with flooding that they will not believe. I saw that the nation of Nigeria is going to be hit with flooding and God says it is because of all your little and the word he used is guinea gods guinea g-i-n-i -I, a word that i had to go and look up and found out that in this west african nation they have a word that is called ogini and it means what is this or what is it this is what my research showed so if it is wrong nigerians please try not to eat me because i'm truly tired of the gross disrespect that i sometimes face on this channel and so god says that flood will come to nations in um, I call them the stans. It was Uzbekistan, it was Pakistan, it was Afghanistan. They received terrible flooding because of their idol worship, because they have what God calls false religions and false gods. And so those nations were flooded out. I also saw that God flooded those nations in anger because a time came where they began to openly massacre and kill Christians. They were killing Christians in mockery of Jesus, meaning that yes, a time is coming, America. America, believe it or not you will still be here on the earth to see it where they will put up Christians on crosses and punish them and tell them since you want to follow your God you can die like your God and they were crucifying people in those days when the days of the marchers came and God was so angry that he was hitting those nations with floods and so God says that Florida is an island unto itself a different country with its own religion its own flag and what I was seeing is I don't know if it will come up later what i was seeing let me just cover it here is that in florida uh the religion is freedom the religion is guns and the religion is donald trump so that is the picture that god was showing me in my dream i was seeing people all mugged out with all the gear holding their guns hanging out on there are these strange boats in florida that are not really boats because they're not shaped like a boat they are shaped like a flat raft and they are mechanized and uh, they ride in the swamps and people go on them to hunt alligators and things like that. I don't know what that boat is called. I once knew the name, but it's not coming to me right now. It's a very flat bo boat and it rides in the bayou. So I saw them on these flat boats with beers and stuff hanging out. And I saw people at the beaches and I just saw people living their best life. And I saw what I will describe at the end of this video, which is just basically idolatry of Donald Trump. The problem with America is that when 
any word comes that tells America that she is in idolatry, the response is never, you know what, I'm going to go home and pray about it and ask God to search my heart. The response is always, who are you to tell us? And he's God's man and everything. And this is why when the Lord judges your idols, please don't come back to this channel and say that I spoke against him or I cursed him because you would only have gotten what you deserved. And what is it that you deserved? In the Bible, traditionally, all people who raise up an idol of any sort, first of all, they get judged. Second of all, the idol is judged in front of all, all in front of them. Third, they cry and then they are punished further by God for crying for the idol. So it historically always happens and it will happen here. So we're only in the stage where the pushback is because the idol's name triggers a strong emotion. If you speak about T.D. Jakes, then the T.D. Jakes idol worshippers freak out. If you speak about Beyonce, then the beehive freaks out. And if you speak about Donald Trump, then the mockerization team freaks out. But the idols will be laid low because the time has come when all the tall trees will bow to the coming of the Lord. So this is what the Lord was showing me. Florida with its religion of freedom guns and trump and he said that he is going to judge them for it american states will experience severe flooding and another of these states that god showed me was texas texas will experience landslides and mudslides caused by excessive rainfall the rainfall that i saw is the kind of rainfall that fools you it's a light rainfall that starts all of a sudden in the afternoon and you think it's a shower but then it strengthens to excessive rainfall that goes on for weeks and weeks without rest the lord said the ground will become weak the ground will become unstable the ground will fail to maintain integrity and there will be landslides and mudslides in America as there have been in the rest of the world landslides that collapse houses neighborhoods and entire apartment buildings that will all fall into the hole created when the ground suddenly gives way because of material weakness caused by water so what i saw in texas is landslides and mudslides and if i'm honest the only landslides and mudslides that i've ever seen are landslides and mudslides in places like india and Indonesia and places like that. These devastating slumps that, that happen where an entire hillside will suddenly let go and all those tons of rocks and mud will come down and just slop over a village at the bottom and it's so many tons. Half the hillside gives way. That kind of thing that you know that because nobody can breathe in mud Nothing is going to help those people. By the time rescue services can come and do anything, it's already too late. I saw that Texas was having these kinds of things that pretty much never happen here in America. And it was all because of this deceptive rain that started. And then this rain, even in my heart, in my sleep, it was like this. And the rain went on and on and on and on and on without rest. And the ground got weak and unstable and it could not hold anymore and across america this will not only be in texas landslides and mudslides began to be recorded and he said as have been in the rest of the world so it was not a small little thing and people thought whoa and recorded on their phone no it was the kind of that's further in the prophecy humanitarian disaster that we have been seeing in the rest of the world the lord said that houses neighborhoods and entire apartment buildings will sink into the ground when these things happen because of weakness caused by water i also saw that texas will have flood disasters and god says please listen that the relief efforts given to texas will be extremely weak and i wrote that in capital letters because he wanted it to be understood the government will do the very least to help florida and the very least to help texas he said the government will not carry out relief efforts or material aid to florida or texas in a sympathetic or a professional way they want to destroy those states 
just as they will destroy all states that are strongly opposed to the beast system. So I'm not going to go into what the beast system is in depth. If you are new, there are too many videos on that topic. Those who have been here for a while, even a little while, you have heard me describe the system of the beast. The beast system has its own money. They're going to take away paper money. They're going to take away the right to your private bank account. They're going to take away your right to private property and private ownership and private anything. In fact, you will have no privacy. Life in the beast system will be completely monitored all the time. Everything will be tracked. They are going to advance their technology through the fallen ones, helping them in the shadows for now to such a point that they will want to track the thoughts of people's minds, to hack people's minds and bodies so that there is no part of us in privacy. And to those who think it's just to take away freedom, it's take away freedom, it's actually to take away any chance you have of having a personal relationship with God. You try to think of Jesus and that Siri will zap you through some microchip that they will put into people who consent to have this done to them. They don't care about your freedom because the Bible tells us in Revelation 13 that all the freedom of all the nations will be gone. They are trying to take away the last ability to call upon the name of Jesus Christ so that Satan's reign, at least for that time period, can be absolute. And so, the government doesn't like states that are strongly opposed to these agendas. And he says that when Florida and Texas begin to suffer their judgments, they will not receive federal help that is sympathetic or professional. It will be messy, it will be sloppy, it will be the least that they can get away with because they want to destroy and weaken those states because those states are strong opposition to the beast. And so as the Lord was speaking to me of these water disasters, I was understanding from him that all the punishments of America thus far have been very mild. The drought will come in California and then after a little bit of hustle and bustle, God seems to show mercy and the rains come back and all the dams become full. California will burn here and burn there and then after a while it'll taper down and they'll be saying, well, we're just gonna build back better, aren't we? Things happen and then time passes and then America forgets because America is not the kind to learn from her mistakes. I knew in my heart and my spirit how much God once loved this country and he gave her everything divinely possible. I didn't say humanly possible. America is what it is because of the supreme and divine grace of God. The last country that was like this in modern history was Great Britain and they did it with extreme force and before them there's probably nobody that we can point to except the Romans and that was a long long time ago. It's been a long time since God favored a nation so much, allowed a nation to go hither and thither in and out as she pleased and do whatever she wants. Everything divinely possible was given to this country to cause her to produce good grapes, excellent weather, a good landscape, good land, fertile soil, hard working people, favorable weather. All the verses from Isaiah chapter five were flooding through my sleeping mind as God was showing me the kind of love that caused this nation to scramble to and stay at the top so long. I loved my vineyard. I planted it on a fruitful hill. I pruned my vineyard. I took all the stones out of her way to make the soil easy to farm. And I expected good fruit. I was thinking in my sleep of how God truly put his hand over the United States to protect her, to give her a chance to grow strong, to produce good fruit. But all she gave him in return was defiance, defilement, and sin. And so as God was talking to me and these feelings came into me, I began to see this horrible, dirty, gray, rushing water flooding down the streets of Florida and Texas. And I knew that what I was seeing was what happens to a nation when the hand of God goes away. What happens when there is no more hedge of grace? What happens when, there no, when there's no more protection? That's when you start seeing floods like we see in Bangladesh, Indonesia, Thailand, India. Nations that have rampant idolatry. 
nations that raise up very tall statues of their false gods and bow down to them. I knew that the, de the natural disasters coming are world-class shakers, next-class world shakers. And my heart was sinking even in my sleep because of what God was showing me. And so I saw a vision of Florida as a flat piece of land and water rushed against Florida from the sea. This water stood up like a cartoon wave. There's, there's a cartoon emoji on most people's phones. And uh, when you type in sea or ocean, immediately that cartoon will come if you want to use that emoji. A, a tall tidal wave with a foamy, um, foamy blue and white top. That is what I saw. A churning wave came and it gulped the whole east edge of Florida. And when that water flooded Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina suffered along with Florida in this judgment the water came and then it flooded out like when water tips over from a glass it flooded out very far inland across those states and i even saw along the upper east coast residual waters spreading up but it did not reach as far up as new york but the damage to the lower coastal states was extremely bad because this is where this tsunami or high tidal wave hit directly again i saw rainfall in Texas, the kind of rain that gives you mental paralysis because it goes on and on and on. And the ground in Texas also became too soaked. It became too overburdened. And so the ground slipped in linear shears. This is what I saw. The ground became saturated and coupled with the rainwater from above, the earth had sudden shears, sideways linear shifts. And it tore, it went and everything that was sitting where it was previously like this and suddenly it suffered a shear or it suffered a tear like this homes and apartments fell into those huge cracks and america began to have serious distress because of these things and there was human disaster there was search and rescue, but not much could be done to save them. And I saw the picture of human beings like little ants in yellow crisis blazers and orange crisis blazers and red crisis blazers. Um, humanitarian services, rescue services came out, but the rain was falling even while they were trying to work. God did not show mercy. The rain kept falling even while they were trying to save people, even when people were dying and in distress inside those huge holes. And so American crisis began to be carried on TV, a humanitarian crisis in the United States of America. This is what people were saying on their TV. And the relief efforts that we could manage here were like a drop in the pan compared to the kind of horrible natural events that would happen. So something systemic and unbelievable would happen. And then we were simply not able to meet it in terms of manpower, in terms of resources, in terms of how to even fix such a thing. I saw soldiers, the National Guard, rescue services of all kinds scrambling with activity but they could not do much because of an incoming flow of water that was already up to the waist. God showed me that water will flow up to the waist and up to the chest in America and many people will lose their lives in it. Not only because there are inadequate protections against this kind of crisis in America, but also the government will not be able to handle this excessive type of crises occurring in many places at once. Please understand that the Lord is focusing on Florida and Texas here because of the particular sin that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. However, he said that these judgments, flooding, landslides, earthquakes, I mentioned them, linear tier, excessive rainfall, tornadoes, um, hurricanes, tropical storms, and extreme heat and cold, as well as volcanic eruptions will be taking place across the continental United States. And so I see something that I mentioned in an old video before I went on my break last year, and I said that 
we will see dead bodies here on social media in America. I mentioned in that other prophecy that God says that here the United States media is extremely good at sanitizing the news. And I don't think that there's anyone who can agree with that. Even when other things happen in other countries that directly involve us, once it's not favorable to us, mainstream media will completely do a blackout on it. You cannot find what President Putin says about America anywhere. You have to look for TikTok or you have to look for when people who are on TikTok bring it to YouTube and watch the thing there because it will simply be totally ignored. It is an agreed kind of ignoring to keep the people in America sleeping and ignorant of what is happening, the kind of ire, anger, and censure that is building against us overseas. We remain ignorant of it until somebody with a YouTube channel tells us. And this just goes to show that God is allowing the bag to be pulled over our head because the majority of people in the church, the majority of your families, you that come here, don't believe anything you tell them. Now you understand why the prophecies that concern Russia and China, God always says, America will be sleeping on that day. How can a nation that does not believe it have enemies watch for those enemies? How can a nation that believes she cannot be surprised ever be watchful? She will be sloppy and she'll continue getting the army boys to wear high heels in support of Women's Day until those people that have been training in the ice and snow come here. And then it will be a different type of media coverage, unfortunately. So the news media sanitizes what we see, what we hear, what we know. But this is the age of social media. Cell phones come out at the drop of a hat. I saw in this dream that people were live streaming the dead bodies that were floating in the water of the floods. Exactly as I said in that old prophecy that live footage will bring carnage and horror into our homes for the first time. Live footage available on social media from many phones will bring this devastation to us at the same time. Social media watchdogs, who are this? This is your YouTube censorship, shut down the channel, strike the channel board. This is Twitter who deletes things and says this goes against our policy. This is Facebook, this is Telegram, this is Instagram. These are all the other social media that I'm not very much familiar with. They had watchdogs and their censorship could not catch all the footage of the disasters people live streaming from right where they are saying look at all the bodies floating by they couldn't take it down and america saw for the first time what it is like to suffer the devastation of the philippines and the tsunami they had thailand and the tsunami they had America saw what happens when the sea comes and eats unprepared people in a single gulp. The news could not sanitize it. The news could not blur it. The news could not say, viewer discretion is advised. There was no way to control the flow of information. There was no way to make it neat and tidy so that the American audience could be able to handle it and think, oh, you know, that's, that's so bad. It's not so bad, those poor people. We saw dead people floating in the cell phone, cell phone footage. Everybody saw it and everybody knew that the times in America were very different. And I saw a red border around Florida and another one around Texas. So I saw the map from above and Florida had a red border dra drawn around it and Texas had a red border drawn around it. And I saw that these two states had distanced themselves completely from America. They raised up their state flags and they were bristling with guns and a very superior confidence. And I felt anger in the heart of God as he was watching this. Florida and Texas put red lines around themselves and God was angry because he saw that they thought that they were no more a part of the union. I then saw a statue of Donald Trump going up in Florida especially. There was already a small statue of Donald Trump standing on a modest base in Texas, but the one that they were raising up in Florida was massive and it was made of green, gray iron. The base of the pedestal had already been erected. Please excuse the, the light. I'm trying to finish this before it gets dark. 
So the pedestal, the bottom of the statue had already been set up, but now they were trying to raise up this massive statue of Donald Trump and put it on top of the pedestal. The curious thing is that they did not have any modern tools to do so. So they were not using a, um, a machines or anything, whatever it is, these, these large and strong machines that could lift up such a massive statue. This was a huge statue of ex-president Trump and it looked exactly like the statue of Lenin in Russia. Donald Trump was standing and he had a long coat and it was made of that imposing gray iron and he had his hand stretched out like this, just like the statue of Lenin that they have in Russia. But the crowd, such a great crowd of people like ants at the bottom of the statue were trying to put this huge thing up using only a simple pulley system. So they had put a rope, a couple of ropes around, around the chest area of the statue and it was human labor that they were using, pulling here and pulling there, trying to raise the statue up to balance it on top of the pedestal and some people were now pushing from the bottom and the left to stop it from swinging wildly and this was a, a very dangerous undertaking that they were using without any form of um machines to help them and then as they were lifting the statue up i don't know what happened so i did not see what happened maybe they were pushing it too hard maybe it swung maybe somebody enough people didn't balance it with the pulley whatever was happening the statue fell and thank God it didn't fall on anyone. It fell to the earth and it shattered. And I was surprised to see that iron statue shatter as if it was made of glass or pottery. It shattered and when it did, all the people standing there shattered with it. So the statue fell from about where they had lifted it about midway, it hit the earth and the iron shattered and flew everywhere. And when it shattered and flew everywhere, all the human beings shattered and disintegrated. They just crumbled into small pieces of iron shavings and they shattered when the statue shattered and the pieces of statue and people fell to the ground. And these are the prophecies of the Lord, all of them received in my sleep. I wrote all this stuff down when I woke up. April the 1st, the prophecy is entitled, The Floods Are Coming. The judgment of the Lord to a nation that always seems to have a small flame burning in her heart, not for repentance, but to justify herself and say, we are not idolaters. We don't worship Mr. Trump. We only like him a lot, 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 lot. A nation that is, as we speak, separating along party lines, transgender, no gender, non-binary, and I'm not even human. I am a whole alien. I've changed my driver's license. I'm no longer human. A nation that is shattering male against female, young against old. Children are stabbing other children, and then the courts are at a loss how to judge people who are are still five and six years away from paying the first taxes as young adults. The government is making, just as I prophesied in 2019, the worst possible choice. Every worst choice, if there's a best choice, a good choice, an okay choice, we can accept this, oh, this is a bad one, and worst possible, where I said I'm taking my hand off the screen to show how terrible the choice is and how nobody supports it. That's the choice the government is making. And God has said that the government will continue making that choice. And it doesn't matter who you put in office because the government of the United States is already captured. It is already corrupt. It is serving Satan. It is bringing in the beast agenda. I've done at least three prophecies on that before I went on my break where the Lord said, that the government is complicit and this is the seat of the beast and they are bringing in a new rulership, a new kingdom and they care nothing for your rights and nothing for how you feel and nothing for how things want to go. But this is a people captured upstairs. They believe that by moving the hand of the clock back a few years to 2020 or 2019, they can live the dream. And yet God is speaking from heaven saying very simple things. 
but that tiny flame of defiance in the heart of America, even the people that come here, that flame still burns in the majority of you. You still have hope that something can be changed. You still have hope that if my people, not knowing that God says, if Moses and Samuel stood before him to beg for this nation, he would not hear, accept, and honor their prayers. And so you continue to burn the midnight oil and make your knees black lifting up prayers for a harlot who was judged before I was born and called forth to speak these words. And this is what the Lord trained me in before he brought me here. You will speak to them and to those who will hear, your voice will be like the voice of a song. Go and read the book of Ezekiel. I have sent many, I have said it many times. When you read Ezekiel chapter two and chapter three, you will understand what I'm doing here. To prophesy to those who may listen, will listen, and the Lord says, your voice will be like a beautiful but a distant song. Why beautiful? Because you will hear it and a part of your heart will say, yes, we are guilty, we must repent before the Lord. But why distant? Because inside burns this insatiable passion to not let it go. The scripture says, come out from ba Babylon my people so you won't share in her judgments but many well-meaning people you've sat here for a year or two you will still share in that judgment why because the harlot is like the tar baby some people both their hands and feet are stuck to the tar baby but for some people they've pulled everything but they've still got one hand stuck they still want to prop up the statue the red white and blue they prefer to reject. The prophecies have now reached 470, 470 written words from the Lord, but people will gather that whole mass and throw it in the trash. They prefer the next part of the prophecy that is called incoming that you're listening to July the 3rd, 2024 is called storms. So you have heard so far about, um, the dream of peeling back the layers that God says he will peel back the layers. You have heard me say that the Lord says to speak boldly and to not wonder about who is watching or who could be harmful or hurtful, but to completely set my trust in him and speak forth the whole counsel of the Lord. You have heard that God says he will peel back layers. You have heard about the whole counsel. You have heard about settling all accounts of men, meaning giving to each what each deserves. And now we have reached the part of the prophecy that is called storms. Massive storm systems will break out around the world. Category 10. 10 winds and higher. Please know right away that even if you don't live in America, there is no such thing as a category 10 storm. We do not have that categorization. It goes from one to five. So immediately you automatically know that God is telling us that we are going into an era of weather phenomena that we have never heard before. Category five can uproot some parts of the house. It can definitely uproot trees. So we have no idea what a category 10 wind, hurricane, typhoon, or anything like that can do. God says that it will be enormous astronomical damage to property by reason of freakish weather that has never been seen or recorded ever before. People will experience storm systems that are simply enormous. And God says that the storms will be so big that when the weathermen and the meteorologists see them brewing, so when the storms are beginning to form and you can see it on the radar or you can see it on whatever it is that they look at, the weathermen and the people in the meteorolo meteorological department, God says that when they watch these storms brewing, they're actually going to think that they're making a mistake in their calculations. They're going to think that the machines are broken when they see the vast areas that the storm systems will cover. Normally you can say east coast, west coast, and the southern edge there, Florida, and the, it's not going to be like that. These storms are going to encompass regions. You know how you've got barrel and barrel is coming from one part of the Caribbean to the other making its way. So it's making pit stops. It's not going to be like that. This thing is going to brew and simply cover shocking pieces, shocking amounts of landmass and sea. And God says that when they see the storms brewing, they're going to think that they're misreading their images. They're going to think that they're making mistakes in their calculations, in calculating storm patterns and everything like that. And he says they will doubt what their tools are picking up but it will be for real. He says that we are going into a time where early warning storm systems, early warning storm alerts, mass evacuations and things of that nature will only partly solve the problem because the amount of areas, the large areas of the earth being attacked at the same time by these category 10 and higher storms, we are going to category 12, category 14, category 18. Basically human beings have never mapped out weather damage to the level that God says is coming. 
So he says, sending early warning storm systems, sending out the tsunami alerts, sending out these things, even early mass evacuations of people from area is going to be from potentially affected areas that they're able to see. He said it will only be partly effective because the areas of the earth that are going to be attacked by category 10 and higher storms will leave an unbelievable trail of devastation in their wake. There are currently no category 10s for storms. The highest is five. The Lord says that prepare for new categories of storms. Prepare for new categories of earthquakes, new categories of sea and other water disasters. The Lord says that boats will sink in the bay under harsh hurricane and typhoon warnings and attempts to get people to safety will not always be worked out on time or even be successful. Tens of thousands of people will die in these storms and other types of heavy duty, serious level weather phenomena and events are coming to the whole earth. Desert conditions will increase and heat will drive many people from the places they have always stayed until now. So new storm categories, you've heard that, but now new categories of earthquakes. I don't know. I think the Richter scale goes from one to a 10. Earthquakes are going to start happening outside of a 10. It's going to be a 12 and 11. And please bear in mind, if you live in the United States, that whenever earthquakes happen here or even anywhere else, America is always the first to tone down the earthquake. And the next time there's an earthquake anywhere, check what it comes out first. So Japan will have their earthquake and they will say that they had a nine. They will say that. And then in five minutes later, you will see here on American Google that they had an 8.2. They had a 7.9 and then Japanese people will adjust themselves and say, yes, we had a 7.9. We don't know what we were thinking. It always happens like that. At the moment of the earthquake, even the earthquake that occurred here in New York City, you will see a number come up and then very shortly afterwards, you will see that number adjusted downward. It happens every time. And there are people who make storm chasing their business, weather phenomena, their business. They're constantly talking about this and letting people know that this is part of a deliberate agenda to always make us think as people that we are safer than we are when we are in fact approaching the time of cataclysmic natural disasters but living under the control of people whose first default and diehard setting is to lie and misrepresent all data and when i say all data i mean all data so God is saying that we're going to see new storms, new types of earthquakes, new categories of sea and water disasters. I spoke of one thing that is a massive column of water that just seems to rise up as if the sea is so angry and it just goes rotating, rotating. It's basically a tornado, but in the water. And God called it a sea-nado, something that I'd never heard of before. I spoke about that, I think, in... The prophecy is called natural disasters, trans army, and something like that. I think it's one of the first times that I heard about something called a sea nado. And this sea nado starts in the sea, but then when it gathers enough momentum, just like a shaker, it begins to move inward to land, and then it just does this. It forms a little rainbow curve and wastes these millions of gallons of seawater very far inland on the land, and it can be very devastating for property, for life, for all of that taking place inland. Um, God says we're going to see the deaths of tens of thousands of people in these brand new storm systems, brand new heavy duty, serious level weather phenomena and weather events coming to the whole earth. So this is definitely not limited to the Northern Hemisphere. The nations are going to be going through what Matthew 24 tells us because everyone is an expert in saying, but we knew this, there were going to be earthquakes in diverse places. Let that diverse place be exactly where your house sits. Let the diversity come to your town and we will see how flippantly you discuss these one-liners in the Bible that can be translated as mass funerals. Because this is what people do. On paper, it's simple. And then it hits the news headlines and then there's, how could this happen? How could this happen? And what is FEMA doing about it? So, God says that desertification will increase and heat is going to prompt migration this is end times judgment please not climate change it is not greta and her friends it is god doing this and you can find these things in matthew 24 showing that we are now entering beginning of sorrows birth pains the times when the nations will be rolling and reeling from what they go through first and foremost i would just like to send my utter regards out to the people and residents of florida that just got hit by hurricane milton I pray for your safety, your recovery, and all the things that you need to get back to a normal way of life. I pray that God blesses you with that. And he restores everything that you lost. Miss Celestial, back in 2023, April to be exact, spoke 
Florida's name out of her mouth when it came to this big hurricane that was about to hit them prophesied about it what's that 10 months ago I mean you got to think about this April 2023 this woman was speaking on the events that just happened yesterday and the thing with a prophecy is sometimes these things may take years to happen or they'll happen immediately Celestial prophesied about Florida even spoke Florida's name and said that this hurricane was coming and many people could say, oh, you know, it's, of course they're going to have hurricanes because they're right there by the water and they almost have hurricanes every year and this, 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 and that. This hurricane wasn't like the others. Hurricanes have different impacts. Category five, four, threes, twos. You know, I believe this one actually dumbed down to a hurricane three when it hit and it still caused so much ruckus Miss Celestial with another prophecy fulfillment I want to know y'all's opinion on this video be sure to drop down in the comments let me know your thoughts and opinions don't forget to hit that like and share button as well